before we start, before I'll wait for a couple of more minutes for others to come in. Uh, I want like a show of hands. How many of you here have used React or something like that? How many of you have used other forms of virtual DOM? Or okay, sure. Well, that's not a good sign. Okay, uh, so I was just asking how many of you have used React before? React is okay. None of you all. Okay, cool. How many of you have uh, heard of this programming language called Julia? Uh, one person. Okay. Um, so a lot of the things I'm doing here, uh, the server side part of it is in Julia. Actually, all code is server side. Uh, that's the whole point of this talk. Uh, so it's a very easy lang language. It's like the syntax is like uh, pseudocode. I haven't started yet. Yeah, I'm just uh, uh, yeah. So it's it's basically like pseudocode. So uh, I'm sure you guys you guys can figure it out. Um, so what Julia is is a it's a, a programming language for technical computing, which means it's uh, really good at number crunching, basically. Um, but it's also good uh, for general purpose programming. Uh, that's the kind of work I do uh, in in my job. Um, well, uh, so if you haven't heard of Julia yet, uh, look it up. And there is a, a nice uh, article called Why We Created Julia, which explains why uh, they created Julia. And it's like uh, pretty ambitious and very nice. And I think we're almost there. Um, so is that so? Yeah. I guess we have two more minutes. Or should we start? Um, OK, looks like. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh. Okay. okay, let's start. Okay, so. Hi, everyone. I am Shashi Gowda. Uh, uh, from time to time, I make uh, UI packages for, this, uh, for users of this programming language called Julia. Uh, this talk is about uh, some of the work I did uh, on a package called Azure.jl. Uh, you can Google this to look it up. Uh, so my, the topic of my talk is uh, what can you do with a virtual DOM uh, on the server, right? So. Uh, so, what is a virtual DOM? What does it even mean? And does it actually work on the server?